today I am fitting the split charge system. I've forgotten my GoPro, so I'm on my phone. This is how the split charge system comes. Um, it's all in parts right now. Um, I probably won't be able to record as much, obviously, because I'm on my phone. Um, that is the little sensory uh, voltage sensitive relay, which senses um, when to charge and when not to. And then it's just a load of wires lugs i think there's a few fuses with the split charge install is pretty simple the most difficult part is knowing where to put it through from the main engine bay battery um, through the back traditionally you might be able to go through the firewall here however i can't find a clear route and i don't really want to drill a hole in the firewall here um, you can actually run it up through here through the a-frame um, run it along here and then just poke something down there to get to it so you can just pull it back up and then on the other side you can see this foam here I've just put a bit of metal uh, a metal plate down there for, for the time being just to check that it's right so that is like a foam here and then we can just bring it through there I'll attach it to this or attach it to something similar um, or like a coat hanger wire would work to pull it through and then we'll drop it into one of these grommets here and that will come into the glove box and then I can run it along there. Pull the wire through, I've just got the metal rod, as you can see there, um, which is coming from the glove box side. And then I've just attached it to the wire uh, lug with a little bit of cable tie. And then hopefully now, if I just push that back down, I should, as you can see, here's the uh, metal bit. I should be able to just, oh, can I get that? Hopefully be able to pull that through. Unless the cable tie breaks, it's looking okay. I'm just gonna prise that cushion away. There you go, I've pulled it through using this little mechanism, and that's the cable through. That will now run into this grommet or that grommet there. It's gonna come through this grommet here, which one can pop off, and then it should hopefully pop out into this little frame here just added a bit of conduit through this gap here because it's quite sharp through there so that whilst I'm passing through quite a lot of cable it doesn't get damaged so it just pops out there it might make it a bit easier to get through so I have routed the wire now from where it's popping out from the engine bay there I'm going to put a bit of conduit around here and um, tidy that up it then comes in through a grommet there out here all along under the trim the trim will all go back on there and then it just tucks in through there another bit of conduit to take it through into these um these little bays here then i'm running it through this up through there and then it'll pop out here as it does now um, but it'll be tidy and where the battery is and the split charge relay will be down there so i'm just going to wire in the split charge relay there wire it in in the engine bay but not actually connect it to the battery and we'll just leave it disconnected at both ends basically so then it's all in it's all rooted and it just needs hooking up um, when i'm ready so this is all hooked up here now um, this end will go to the leisure battery you've then got a fuse here the volt sensor relay this is what i'm going to do next is basically earth the um the relay which is here it will then sit in the cavity under there. So the whole thing will be tidied up into there. And there's just a little, on the framework, there's a little hole there. So that's where I'm gonna earth this, scratch it off, um, and then just earth the relay. I'm actually gonna need to drill a hole um, just into the frame there. I thought that there was already one pre-drill. There's one there, but that holds the um, tire kit, so gonna just drill a hole there and then I can earth it just earthed the uh, relay down there now and then it, the wire just pops up and we'll sit here um, which is where the leisure battery and the electric system is gonna go all I need to do now is just connect the long lead up to the fuse and short lead in the front next to the starter battery as I said I won't actually put it into the starter battery connect it up to the starter battery just yet I'm just making sure it's all rooted in good place all this trim back on and put a bit of conduit in the engine bay. When I'm ready to hook it up, all I need to do is, is just grab the cable here, pop it on the positive terminal, goes into a fuse there, and then through the conduit into here, through the A-frame, and then runs back to the leisure battery. The 
you've probably seen this is now all tidied away so the trim is back on there i'm just going to add a bit of conduit to this wire here conduit's done on there that looks nice and tidy glove box is back in and that's the split charge install complete well that's the wires run anyway so happy with that um, when i get the battery i can obviously just hook it up 